Hello everyone, this is our new Spring Boot application. So we will try to monitor our Spring Boot application using Grafana Alloy today. And we will using two dependency actuator and Prometheus. So first what we will do, we will uh, send our matrix to Prometheus DB using Grafana Alloy as it. And from Prometheus DB, uh, we will create a data source will be, which will be used in Grafana Alloy uh, Grafana cloud to visualize our uh, uh, matrix. Okay. So let's uh, start like how we will do. So we need to open the form.xml of our Spring Boot application. Then we will need to add these two dependency actuator and Prometheus one. So I'm going to do this website and copying these two dependencies. You can also get it from Maven Hub uh, from Maven repository. Okay. So these two dependency we have imported after that. We need to go to application.ml and there we need to uh, put okay. this configuration. So all our actuator, actuator endpoint will get enabled. Okay. So like uh, now let's test it whether our matrix are coming or not. Okay. So let's uh, this application run. As it will get started, we will try to hit our endpoint which will be actuated from APS. Okay, application is running, it is taking some time. So as the application uh, run will complete, we will hit this endpoint, it will be a get request and it will give us all the metrics uh, related to our uh, application, Spring Boot application. As you can see here, it is saying exposing 15 endpoint. Okay, which uh, could be actuator. So let's uh, hit the endpoint. See, all our matrices are coming. As you can see here, means all our applic uh, application related matrix by default it gives. So you can see here, HTTP server request, system up and down, all these basic matrix we will be getting. Okay. So this is done now. So we can see our uh, matrix are coming in Prometheus format now. So let's go to Grafana. Uh, let's go to Grafana lab. So what we need to do uh, here you can see. So this is our, our Grafana lab. You just need to enter team here and you need to configure here. It will come like configure. Uh, then it will come for you also. It will, you just need to uh, sell, uh, in your browser put this only. After that, it will ask to configure. So create your account and everything. And after that, uh, you need to select this Prometheus send matrix. Okay. Once this will be done, it will come like this. Like uh, here you can see it will be the endpoint. It will be uh, right endpoint. So this will be the user ID and token. I will tell you where it will get used. So you need to create this token first. Okay. So you need to here enter some name like let me give Satyam token. Anything you can give. So I have already created it. So I will not create again. After once this password has been created, you need to go to this access policies. So as you can see earlier, I created this token. Okay. So I just need to do uh, Edit and I need to select all these. And I need to give all this permission. Read, right? Okay, everything I selected. So now uh, I get this token. Okay, so what I will do? I will now I will create a, a Grafana log config file. Okay, so here you can see I have already created it. So uh, we, this is the uh, config.alloy file in this. URL will be this one which we just created now. Here, if you can see, uh, let me show you inside send matrix. Yeah, this is this will be the endpoint. Okay, so we will copy this and we will try to uh, we will put here then same way username and password also we will paste here. Okay, then this in this part it will be the our endpoint like our uh, spring boot application and uh, uh, port port and its ip address so uh, as it uh, we 
as it will be running on docker hub docker so that's why i need to put uh, this um, ip configuration okay ip address okay so because local host will not work here so to get the ip address you just need to write here ip config so it will give you the ip address of your desktop okay you just copy this and paste it as our application is running on 8080 and it says that uh, scrap the matrix get the matrix from this endpoint okay so it will take the matrix and push to this grafana cloud okay so as our uh, this prometheus has already been created uh, so what now next step is that as you will run this it will if you see here then after that like uh, our alloy configuration has been created then we will create this docker compose file which uh, what is it generally does it will download the grafana alloy image from docker hub and after that it will uh, put this configuration inside this folder inside container so it will be present inside etc alloy config.alloy once uh, this you will create it like any folder you do and these two files you create and after that you need to go to this folder you can uh, download the docker uh, desktop anything like uh, i am doing in this uh, Ubuntu WSL. So no, so you can use Docker desktop and we need to run this command docker compose minus docker compose alloys yaml. This as you will run this command, it will download this image and configure this. This configuration file it will put inside that container and it will run according to that. Okay. So now our Grafana alloy agent is ready and it is sending matrix to our Prometheus DB, which we created from this Grafana uh, lab. Okay, so we now our matrix is going here. So now we will go to Grafana Cloud to um, visualize our matrix. So for that, first we need to create a data source. Okay, so we will go inside this data source, and here we will create add new data source. We will select Prometheus. Once the Prometheus is selected, you give the name according to your need, and here server URL we need to give from this uh, Prometheus. From Grafana lab, okay. So we will copy paste here, and we should not forget this. Like after the host API and com, do not please forget, okay. And after that, uh, we will copy this instance ID, and we will uh, put it uh, instance ID uh, here in authentication. We need to select basic authentication here. We will put is uh, instance ID and password, which we have created here, like instance ID and password, whatever it is, put it here. I have already created, and then uh, you need to just here click save and test. And like uh, your application, like let me show you my uh, data source configuration. So you can see I created with Prometheus data source name, that's why I'm creating right now. So you, you see here, I did the same thing, I entered the URL, user ID, password, and here in the last. And nothing, just do save and test, and it will create the data source. See, you can see it is showing saying that build a dashboard. So, you, we can click on this, we can click on this add visualization, and inside this, we will select our uh, data source. And after that, we will here from here, we will select our matrix. Like I am selecting up matrix, and then we will click on this run queries. As we will click on this run queries. So you can see, uh, let me show you changes to girls. You can see how our application is running. So you can also do here, like, uh, uh, let me uh, show it by doing up and down. Okay, just go Value mapping. One display text up. See, now it is saying that our application is up. And if I show you, if I go here, I do this down. So as in our configuration file, it is uh, saying that it will scrap the detail in 15 seconds. Okay. So after 15 seconds, our application, it will show that it is down. Okay. So let's wait for a uh, few seconds. Uh, let me run the uh, query again. 
here you can see run query yes see it's coming zero it's mean down so here you can do the value mapping like uh, when it is g when it is zero you can make it down yeah. if it is saying that and you can put here like uh, for zero make it red so it will it is saying down and as i will make the application up it is so on. so in the same way you can make the dashboard according to your need so what we are doing let me rephrase again like uh, we are adding two dependency actually prometheus in our uh, spring boot application then we are sending our uh, matrix to prometheus db and from prometheus db we are creating a data source which will be uh, from our grafana cloud and visualize our matrix thank you everyone